My experience at France has been nothing but unforgettable. Being here at the Alps with such a fantastic view reminds me of my native home, Merida, Venezuela. Mountains with tops full of snow, a myriad of flowers and trees all around me, and a lake as clear as the sky. My favorite experience so far has been going to a soccer game at the Soccer Lyon Stadium. There, I witnessed the passion French people have for soccer. Even though soccer is really popular here, going back to what I have done the most is eating cheese and drinking wine. Wow, I have never eaten such good wine and cheese in my life. Both are fantastic. Hmm, so good. However, if I had to pick one, it would be wine. You know, I have to take advantage of the underage drinking here. So good that it's inevitable to get drunk, where you just start seeing your glass of wine going in circles before you black out. Such good wine that is sacred, like a god. I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! And I broke! This picture mainly represents what I did last week, as you can see in the background. This is not the typical French flag. So, um, on Saturday afternoon, me and my host family, we went to Chateau de Aux in Switzerland. The trip is about two hours long, and I don't know, we went at least around the lake, so that didn't make it that boring. As we went to Switzerland, I saw the changing environment, how everything got more greener, how there were less buildings, how it was more medieval. Then we went to the village, we walked around, took pictures, and as it got darker, we went to a famous restaurant. There, I ate the most delicious food I've ever eaten in my whole life. It's called fondue. Man, you grab a potato, you grab bread, you grab whatever, but you dump that thing in the cheese and you put it in your mouth. No matter if it burns, it's delicious. Worth it. Then I drank my wine, like a four cups of wine, you know, taking about the show the under drinking, prepared on myself. And then next morning we woke up early because we had to go hiking up a mountain. And man, the views were gorgeous, so beautiful. We saw a bunch of animals, cats, cows, and we saw a bunch of flowers from Friday Alps. And man, it was two hours, two hours up for a steep, steep mountain. But then as we got to the top, we sat down, we chilled. We eat, we converse with each other, and when I put my tripod, it's kind of awkward because it was the first time meeting my grandparents, host grandparents, and at least they were okay taking the video. And then as we had to back up, um, well, I, <laughs> we have to go down. That was not that pleasant also. Going back, um, so two hours going down the mountain. After that, we had a picnic, pretty good, eating some Switzerland cheese, and on the way back, um, at least the hour didn't, wasn't that long, it wasn't two hours, so more like five seconds, because as you can see, I slept like the entire ride, and that explains why the next day had neck pain. But at least this is the story of uh, of me in Switzerland, and how so much fun. Well, now there's one link left to the program to end, and soon I have to go back to the United States, but there's definitely things I'm gonna miss, like the cows on the road, bike around the lake, the beautiful view, taking a bath in the lake, hiking upstairs, getting lost with my friends, <laughs> surviving albums class, eating some plants, and going to Paris. Definitely, this is a journey I will never forget. I will come back to France, Annecy, and Tawar. This journey, six weeks journey, taught me how culture is so different. And I know definitely after six weeks, I, I wanna, I, really, I just wanna travel around the world. But definitely, what I'm going to miss the most is the wine and the underage drinking laws. Oh yeah. I'll be until.